Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Um, let me just do this real quick because we do have John Crump joining us from Ammoland. I just want everyone to know, first of all, this is the first time we have like five people in here and we're not going to do it for that long because obviously we want to get a lot of information, but John has something to add to this conversation. I think he's getting some document dumps from the ATF. Do you want to bless us with that real quick, John? Yes, I'm just sad. I just found out that Santa Claus isn't real. Oh. <laughs> blame, it on, blame it on Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. All right, yeah. so you guys are right. Um, I have some more document dumps. Uh, this one goes back to 2019, um, and uh, are you familiar with a guy named Curtis W. Gilbert? Yeah, um, it looks Alex is saying yes. Uh, he hinted in a meeting when he was the Deputy Assistant Director of Enforcement Programs and Services. I guess he's now the uh, uh, Deputy Assistant Director of the Office of Public government affairs but when he was in the uh, enforcement programs and services with a meeting with other ATF agents he hinted that the regulations were going to come down then so he knew he knew it um, all the way back then also there is something that he brought up the SB4 specifically um, and he had a real problem with SB4. I have no idea why. I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're saying the SBA4. The SBA, uh, with, yeah, that's what I meant. SBA, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so what's interesting, just to kind of uh, talk about what you're saying, back in 2019, mm -hmm. we had conversations because we had heard the same types of things. We had discussed uh, you know, this issue with the Department of Justice. And the Department of Justice wrote a letter to ATF and told them, listen, if you guys want to come up with some kind of parameters, you can come up with parameters. But until you come up with parameters, you are not to write anything about braces. This is their boss. So there's ATF mm -hmm. and there's Department of Justice. Department of Justice is their boss. So Department of Justice tells ATF, listen, you guys can't do anything on braces. They've essentially, they've essentially taken their power away because ATF is used to saying whatever they want, when they want it, and the opposite of that whenever they want as well. Well, essentially, after that, I think what happened was the ATF got pissed. And with respect to Ketch, what they did was it was essentially an FU back to DOJ. And they said, oh, yeah, well, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And they sent out their henchmen, their armed henchmen, okay, under criminal – convictions because essentially what Kevin mm -hmm. is that is that if you don't abide by this by the cease and desist you can go to prison yeah because okay. it wasn't Which, the technology branch that went after Kevin or after Q right it seems yeah. like it was enforcement and like someone a field agent in Boston right criminal agents mm -hmm. went to Kevin and gave him the cease and desist not mm -hmm. fat D, not some other bureaucrat Criminal people under criminal prosecution. So the, were they trying I mean, to make an example? I mean, conversation with Kevin. He's in the driver's seat because mm -hmm. he's the, he's the one that risks it all. Mm -hmm. So what what pisses me off and what to me is criminal and obscene for the United States of America is for an agency which is the regulatory agency. Remember that they're the ones that we go to for information. We know that under 16 inches, it's a short barreled rifle. Mm -hmm. It's a standard. We know it. They're going to Kevin, okay, with no standards, okay, with just a, well, it, we'll know it when we see it attitude, mm -hmm. and saying that you can go to prison now if you don't cease and desist selling a product that sells, like everybody wants one. I can't tell Kevin how many people I ask, hey, talk to Kevin, get me one of those, get me one of those honey badgers. The thing is, though, today, like not to steal his thunder again, but you can sell a Glock pistol with a unicorn horn hanging off of it, and you will sell it at full retail. And they're stopping him from selling his product. Mm -hmm. It's obscene. It's wrong. 
it, you seems, either... it seems like they wanted to make an example make... of Kevin. Go ahead. Walt, do you want to say something real quick? Go ahead. Walter? Well, I mean, okay, you can't catch your own rainwater, right? You can't what? Can't catch your own it's rainwater. This, it's, this, it's the same. It's these regulatory agencies creating law. Well, they're not supposed to be creating law, right? How 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 can they throw you in jail in prison? They don't they don't have there's no law, on a, so but they're like they're like the dictator. Yep, mm -hmm. this is illegal. You know you're going to jail, and mm -hmm. it's like, well, what, what, jail, who, where's the law? Mm -hmm. Where's the law? You know, it's like. Well, I mean, definitely, it's a it's a way it's it's trying to. Um, it's I mean, trying it's to not intimidate. it's not. It's not just ATF that plays this game. EPA plays this game. Department of Energy plays this game. All these other agencies do the exact same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I'm mean, not in, but yep. but the executive order thirteen eight ninety two, okay. Then I'm going to have to read it to you because it's important for everybody who's listening to know. Okay. Provides that when an agency takes an administrative enforcement action, engages in adjudication, or otherwise makes a determination that has legal consequences for a person, and in this case a business, it may apply only standards of conduct that have been publicly stated in a manner what that standards? would not cause unfair mm -hmm. surprise. That's it. There are no standards. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to give me standards, how can you come after me? Yeah. Okay, so listen, John has to go real quick. He just wants to make a statement before he goes. What is that, John? Yeah, uh... You guys are absolutely right. It looks like they got a little bit upset that uh, the DOJ uh, took some of their power away. So I don't think it's totally directed at uh, Q or SB Tactical. I think it's a shot back at DO DOJ as well as you guys because they had their power taken away. Um and so I, I have an article this probably going to be coming out Monday, Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday. Uh, that's going to go into a little bit of the stuff that I have found out, some documents that I got. But, I mean, this has been a long time coming. Uh, they just knew they didn't have the political capital, and now they're saying, screw it. You know, election is coming up. Let's go ahead and throw it out, out mm -hmm. and see what see what sticks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All hey, right. I, I Hey, thank you to John for what you guys are doing at MLN, man. Those articles have been awesome, and appreciate you reaching down and finding those, publishing them. Oh, we we got tons. We have tons coming out. I mean, I got documents. I was talking to Hank, and I have documents coming out every day. I'm going through some, and I found some really interesting things um, <laughs> that I'm not going to get into now. But Hank can tell you guys off air. Yeah. Not yeah. about the brace, but... Well Sincerely, thank you, and let me know anything that my company can do or I can do to help you. I really appreciate what you're doing. Yeah, no problem. I'm probably reaching, reaching out for a comment uh, probably Monday or whatnot, uh, but I got a bunch of other stuff. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, yeah. by the way, uh, you guys got me in trouble with uh, Richardson. Marvin. Marvin? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's pissed at me. He's just as he yeah. told me, he's just he just wants to be he just wants to get along with people in industry. That's what he told me. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, well, well tell him, he's brother. pissed at me because uh, apparently my sources and he doesn't know who my sources are and he's not going to know who my sources are and it, and that's kind of uh, rubbing him the wrong way. Oh, really? He's getting rubbed well, the he... wrong way. <laughs> okay. I wonder what Waco felt if he yeah. rubbed them the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, listen, John, thanks so much. I agree with what Kevin said. You guys are doing good work. Keep it up. We'll definitely bring you back here, um, you know, and, and we'll talk about those things when we could talk about them. All right. All right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's something that's kind of shocking to everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, that's not a teaser at all. Now that, No one's going to want to know what that is. <laughs> all right. It has to do with uh, holes that are not in the industry. Okay, all right, John. You get out of here before you get in trouble. Okay. All right. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> All right. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.